mediumship should be to give the living people some hope. Mediumship should be something empowering for both the living and the dead. Hey there my fellow spooky seekers, welcome to another episode of Paranormal Tuesdays. My name is Isumia, depending on which alter ego decides to show up. And I'm a psychic witch, medium, clairvoyant, clairvoyant, basically a jack of all trades when it comes to the paranormal. Like, who needs a ghostbuster when you got me, right? Every Tuesday, we sit down, well, every other Tuesday, we sit down and I'm reacting to paranormal investigations and I'm telling you what I can see here and feel or what I feel they're doing right and wrong. So, if you're interested to see that from a witch's perspective, then make sure to subscribe because I am here for you every week, alternating between Paranormal Tuesdays, Witchcraft Wednesdays, and Spellwork Sundays, where we talk everything about witchcraft, spells, state of work, demons, angels, spirit guides, tarot, and all that stuff. So if you're interested about any of that shit, consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon, and you can come back and see me. Now, a thing to know about me is that I love gossip. I love the um, metaphorical tea, right? And we all know well, if you're new here, every time that I've been reacting to Sam and Colby's videos and they have Amanda, I always say I don't like Amanda, so I don't like Amanda. I don't like Amanda. And I had a little birdie told me that there is a video out from another medium, Kelsey Davis, where it truly shows Amanda's true nature. So, me being the gossipy type and wants to be proven right again and again, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So, let's see who Amanda is, but also let's see if we can see some shit. Okay? Let us. Get to it. Sarah would be haunted by them for the rest of her life. Sarah believed the season and started building her home. Okay, look. I know that I watched the Winchester house before, like, with, with Sam and Colby. Like, I know the story of the Winchester house. But just because I I recorded another video before that for Witchcraft Wednesdays, it's very fitting right now to say it. Showing you how from the beginning of time, people have been using mediumship to scare people. Mediumship should be to give the living people some hope you know or a last word with their loved ones mediumship should be something empowering for both the living and the dead when you're a medium you are the medium between the living and the dead. You should help the dead pass on if they haven't passed on properly. And you should help the living with getting over that loss or making them understand what the afterlife is actually like. Now, UPG, unverified personal gnosis, and my noggin, how much do you want to bet 
maybe that medium's husband died by a Winchester rifle, so she was like, well, now you better make fucking house for my husband to rest in, because you're gonna get haunted. Let's continue, because I actually don't have too much time on my hands. And that's kind of short, like one of the shortest ones that I have reacted to, like I don't know the one, so. And let's continue, but if you want to hear me rumbling about it, mediums and how they use fear, uh, let me know down below and I can make a video about it. Anyway, let's go. Maybe it's so tiny in the show. I don't know, I don't know what it was. That's also what being an empath is like. Just like how That was a boy's voice. Right. And bought this cute little farmhouse. She had hundreds of acres of orchards surrounding this place. And then she went to one freaking medium, because they're not all good, throwing that out there. So, oh, Amanda talks, Amanda is talking about it. Oh, no, a fucking video, it's a fucking good. Look who's talking. Can we talk about the fact that it was Kelsey that asked something and Amanda did not even like, just for a s single second, she only like started talking to her. Then she was like, she was talking to Mackie, whatever her name is. And then the camera, like, I understand, like, that guy is filming her and she's gotta talk to the camera. But it was Kelsey who asked her, like, even Sam and Kobe, when you see, like, Colby is asking Sam something. Sam is looking away from the camera to face Colby because he's answering Colby something. So same. So genuine and so nice. Like, I don't feel like she was like, you know, like how like some people are rich and stuff and like snobby. I feel like she was genuine yeah. and I feel like she just was told the wrong thing during see even even kelsey like she's not looking at the camera because she is referring to them she's talking to amanda and mackie she's looking at them yes she's holding the camera but she's not talking to the camera because she's talking to them i like kelsey so far like this is the first time of me like seeing her but i get very i get very childlike vibe from her i get a very nice vibe she does look like she's a genuine person who is trying her best to entertain and be good and uh yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah but like, i didn't do too much research that's just I've heard. I knew that she had a digestive issue. Oh, so she does research. So she does research beforehand. Like, I've said to you before, right? When I'm doing reactions, I'm road dogging it for the reason being I want to be like completely raw to what I see and what I hear. I don't want to be biased based on something that I've heard once or like I've read. To be like, oh, I should be seeing this, this, and this. I want to be raw because I'm like, let's see what wants to be shown, right? And see what we can do with it. Not being biased and be like, oh, we're going to Sarah Winchester's house. We should be seeing Sarah Winchester. Or we should be seeing this baby. Or we should be seeing this husband. Whatever wants to be shown, will be shown. That's my personal opinion, like, the research that I'm doing, I'm doing with them when they're saying the story. Yeah, so technically you could say, I am biased then, but I'm not biased beforehand, if that makes sense. So, yeah, knowing the story, uh, the history, of a certain place matters it does matter a lot it just doesn't make sense 
and that also brings me to the other thing that I want to talk about just a little bit. I've watched that John Wolf's YouTube video on debunking the whole uh, tapping noises of Cody and Satori. Everything he said makes sense to me. Because I am also a person who will try to give you the uh, mundane reasons. I do not know about any of the stuff. Obviously, the guy did his fucking research. Obviously, me as a psychic and a medium who can see stuff like, yeah, that thing, I can still see that thing, but what he said is when you um, need to book, to go to the controlling house, you need to give everyone's names. So it wasn't hard for them to search everyone's names and see who uh, obituaries and they have died. And I'm like, that makes sense. That makes sense. So if they could do that, couldn't Amanda do that? So how do we know since he has resources, has he been finding, has he been seeing? anyone or anything else other than what the history says like has it been seeing other conjuring anything else other than that they say like they said about the um, boy henry harvey henry whatever they have been saying about abigail yeah fine has it been saying anything else other than what it's been said that is already there food for thought yes you went on top of it dude i saw you in here Yeah. I was just gonna say it just got so cold right here. It got so cold behind Yeah, that yeah. Like I feel maybe two people in here. I wanna know whose leg that was I saw because that was very clear. Like it was like a leg. Like I saw the shoe, the pant, but I didn't see anything else but it was their um right leg, like specifically. And then was it like dangling off the bed or like just standing? Did it touch the floor or not? It was touching the floor. Oh. No, it was it was like it wasn't like a woman leg. Like it was a small short leg. Like it looked like a little boy leg. Did you see something over there, Mac? Yeah, I did see it. But it was short. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. In the back there, wasn't that exactly where I saw Sarah? Um, passing with a Sam and Colby thingy? Was it like that room? Because they're in Sarah's room. Wasn't it like... Was it at the exact same place? I'll put... Um, I'll find it and I'll put the clip here. Flashback. If this is really you, can you give us some kind of sign or a sound? She just walked from from there. So it's just got her like hands just like I do, like right now. So it was just like there. And uh, yeah, kind of. And she just she just walked there. And like look at again at Selena. She's very intrigued <coughs> by Selena somewhere. I think it was. It's like a lot of them just see things out of the corner yeah. of their eyes here. Like yeah. that's especially how it was on the tour when I wasn't sitting down, like yeah. trying to connect. Well, she looks very uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm Kelsey. I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you guys. Um, I feel free. Spirits. Two men. One woman. Either she worked for her and they were 
very connected in some way. Do you find this really peaceful? I was gonna say the exact same like, thing. I was gonna say the exact same thing. So I always wait for someone to say something like, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Shut the fuck up. She does look so uncomfortable. Like, I haven't seen anything from her, but she looks so, so uncomfortable. Just to see what I pick here with that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't get bad vibes from the Winchester house. There were three things in it. So it was Sarah da Sarah daughter. <laughs> so it was Sarah's daughter, Annie's lock of hair in here, and her um, daughter's obituary and her husband's obituary, and that was it. So like this woman with like a lot of money, super rich. That's those were her three most prized possessions. We're gonna set up the REM pod and see if. What's a sad? <clears throat> I'm not. I said I'm not gonna be emotional and I'm not. But think about it. Like, it really shows you that it's not the money and it's the people. Let's continue because. <laughs> Did you I was just gonna ask if she could do that. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, um, obviously it was too short. Um, I couldn't see much, and I found a few things, but the point mostly for that. <clears throat> let's talk about, like I said, I don't have too much time, but let's talk from an empath perspective because that was more me understanding Amanda and see how she is. Let's talk from an empath's perspective. I felt so 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 bad for Kelsey because obviously like I said I don't know her I don't know what is up but from what I felt she seemed to me every time I was like looking at her it was like that tightness in the chest where you like you know you're about to cry but you know you're like in a public setting and you're just like trying to give it in so you're just like taking the deep breaths and then it's just like oh. that's what I felt her being like, um, also her talking to them reminded me of every time that I've been upset with someone, like let's say in my family, right? I've been upset with someone, but because we have like a social gathering or because I just don't want to create more shit, I've been saying stuff, I've been um, just trying to engage for the sake of being civil. I don't want to talk to them, I don't want to be near them, but I want to be fucking civil. So maybe I'll joke around. That's what I felt uh, from her the whole time. I felt her being uncomfortable. You could also see it in her eyes, not just from an empire's perspective. You could see it in her eyes. She was uncomfortable. I think um, Amanda and Mackie that like, always together and stuff so i understand them being together doing the intro outro and stuff but you've gone in as a group kelsey was involving you in everything but you didn't involve kelsey in stuff the only time we saw kelsey by herself is because they had left her and she was like, well, I'm all alone, so let me just be by myself and talk to the camera. 
I want to see those things of bullying because I've said I've seen people saying that Amanda is bullying, and I'm not surprised. I don't get good vibes from Amanda. I've said it for the first fucking time. I don't get good vibes from her. From Kelsey? Oh my god. That's the only thing I've, I've seen so far. But like I said, I get childlike um, energy. I get very pure energy. Um, a person who is trying to help who is trying to entertain, who is like, you know how the middle child is said to be like the joker of the family, I think that's the kind of thing I'm getting from her, like middle child energy. Um, I do like her. I do like her. I get good vibes from her. And... Yeah, honestly, I will be reacting to more from her because also the way she's acting, you could tell that she actually does say something. So, for example, I keep forgetting the names. I'm not good with the names. Liv from Meta Psychics, the blonde one. Who is the blonde one? Whatever, the blonde one. You could tell when she hears something, she's just dissociating. I'm dissociating when I'm hearing something. Kelsey was dissociating when she heard or saw something. Every time Amanda dissociated happened to be when the camera was on her. Just saying. And she was talking and talking and talking and talking. Yeah, talking and, um, you know, explaining stuff is good. But when you advertise yourself as a medium, Sometimes you gotta let the spirits do the fucking talk because I said mediumship it is not about you and I think I've also been dissociating in one of the um, videos that I made I'll find it I'll find it I don't remember which one it is but I'll find it and I'll put it here Because at that time, you see, you hear someone has a message. And you know it's important because it's a spirit, whatever. You want to give your undivided attention. The only time we saw fucking Amanda, the associate, was still stuck in the window. She was like, eh. Yeah, I know, they're nice. But. Yes, Kelsey looks the part. I like her. Um, I will be reacting more to her. Uh, I will go through her most famous stuff, the most popular stuff, uh, and say how it is. But if you have any suggestions for me to react to Kelsey, then please drop them down below or in the Google Docs that I have made. But other than that, be good, don't be stupid, and I will see you next week. Bye!